Mowing your lawn less saves you time and makes a big difference to the wildlife in your garden. Create a mini jungle for beetles and other small creatures to wander and where sparrows and goldfinches can come to feed on the seeds. The grasses will set seed, wildflowers can bloom and provide nectar, and the longer stems will create a sheltered microclimate. Avoid using strimmers too, as they can injure hedgehogs, frogs and insect larvae. If you can resist mowing your lawn until late summer, this will mimic the hay meadows of old. Decide which areas of your lawn you can leave to grow naturally. It could be all of it, or just a section. Even mowing less frequently will help, as well as setting your mower to a higher cut. Make sure the areas surrounding bird baths and feeders are kept mown, to prevent long grass providing shelter for predators. There are several different lawn management regimes you can try. The temporary meadow. You can just let your lawn grow naturally for a month in May or June, and mow as you normally would outside that time. This will allow daisy and clover to flower, and you can see pollinators enjoying your lawn. The spring meadow. If you want to have bigger impact for wildlife, don't mow your lawn until at least early July. Then mow as normal until the grass stops growing in late autumn. This is the kind of meadow where you can plant spring flowering bulbs like crocus and early daffodils. As they die back, you can have cowslips coming through along with bulbs such as snake's head fritillary. The summer meadow. Mow your lawn once in late March or early April and then leave it until August or September before mowing once or twice until the end of autumn growing season. This will mimic the old hay meadows and will suit flowers like corn marigold and bird's foot trefoil. Letting your grass grow until late summer provides shelter and delights for your garden critters.